Hello and welcome to another episode of Eric naively expects to finish a project in a shorter time frame than what it actually will be featuring the clapped out mountain bike that we worked on yesterday and while we're at it exploring the term tombstone engineering a little bit. <laughs> Why? Well I'm gonna take this thing and head over to one of my very good friend Dan's house because we have a set of tire inserts, front and rear for this thing, front and rear for his, that we, both having never installed them, are going to attempt to install them. As far as I understand, it's quite the involved process, but due to the superiority complex that I have in my brain, I feel like we're gonna get it done in like 20 minutes. We're not gonna have the same struggles that, you know, professional bike shop owner mechanics have. We're just gonna, we're just gonna put them on by hand, not even think about it. As for the tombstone engineering aspect of it, well, I wanna get some tire inserts so that I can avoid. See that dent? That good, good aluminum dent? Yeah. I wanna put tire inserts in these wheels and tires so that doesn't happen. It doesn't happen again. Okay, all right, let's go. Dan's home now. Welcome to Dan's garage. A space with much more space than mine but far more terrible lighting. Well, yeah, I was gonna say something about the music, but. <laughs> Here are the tire inserts that we bought. Dan, what was the reason that we bought these ones? Because it's winter and we're bored. Money, I was gonna say. <laughs> They're the cheapest ones. They weren't supposed to be available for like, uh, I don't know, till mid-February, late February. And then uh, they came back in stock and showed up here early February, so. Let's see how difficult these things are to actually get on. I love that in the instructions, step four is called the hard part. Our original plan was buy the like the mullet setup and get a 27.5 and a 29 and just run them on the rear. But these are like, how much are these? They were like $90 Canadian. These ones aren't, aren't called like pro. They're not, they're not pro level inserts necessarily. Which, you know, we're definitely not I'm not, pro. yeah, I'm not pro anything, so <laughs> should be just fine. Well, they come with valve stems and they recommend using their, their valve stems. So I'm going to change mine out because mine are just made from, from. It's so dark over there. What I got for Here, pull that off. <laughs> These are worth 25 bucks on their own. <laughs> you get stickers too. I like putting them in a bag and never using That's them. That's what there. I do with my stickers too. <laughs> we have to poke our own hole. I don't want to do that. Return it. That's no, you have to poke a hole through to get the valve. That's, that's not in the... All right, I'm doing front wheel first, so is Dan. I think we should race. He's reading the instructions, I'm going for it. There's nothing here that says anything about... Well, like, we gotta get the valve in somehow. Putting, well, you put the valve in first. Yeah, you're right. Don't poke a hole through it. That'd be stupid. <laughs> don't poke a hole through it. You just put the valve in. Well, I don't see any reason to use these then. I'm not gonna use these. Lots of goop still in there. Don't need any more. So what, do you gotta take the tire off completely? Uh, or do you just no. stuff this in? It's just like putting a tube in. In the instructions it says to to get the get it in there fully first before you start trying to see the other side. Oh, Why? You have no interest in this. <laughs> you made the mistake of reading. <laughs> I'm getting this done. So it's like putting a tubular on. Okay, it's basically. Yeah. So it's, it's a lot. So something <laughs> it says though is that you should add more sealant. Why? Um. I don't know. Well, now you're getting some for free. Look, now it's on the floor. That was like, that's like 75 cents. Oh, no. Not gonna lie, up to this point, I was like, everybody's being way too dramatic about this. But you wanna read the tips and tricks from, from their website or you're just gonna go for it? They say tire levers. No, don't come out. I don't have to consult anything. Brute force! Nine minutes? Yeah, it was about nine minutes. Okay, let's do yours. 
It is a lot of work. <laughs> so that's a, uh, that's a front wheel completed, although I haven't put air in it yet. Uh, it feels like you could ride it the way it is. That's kind of neat. I'll be interested to see if it does, uh, if it helps with holding air in the rear that has that dent in it right now, which seems to actually have caused a slight bit of a leak. Uh, let's see how Dan does. Dan's still reading the instructions. He just saw me do it. <laughs> oh no. You try to avoid that. Look at that. Jesus. Keep going, keep going. <laughs> We're very pretzeled. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just pour I just pour it in. And then people in the comments are like, whoa, that's way too much, or that's not enough. Ending the disc rotor. Ending the disc rotor. The scroter. Okay, we did get it on. Um, I made the suggestion that maybe we get it further away from the valve, because the valve's just gonna take up that little bit more space. Brought it over here, two hands, tire lever, pop. And like a really, really, Uneventful celebration. <laughs> okay, that's just, that's just the kind of thing where like, <laughs> finally. But what was that? That might have been what? 15 minutes? Yeah, a lot longer than this. That was fine. I mean, there's no way that would pop. Like, it's impossible for this. This tire is just never coming. I'm gonna have to cut it off now. What do you want to do? The rear of yours or mine next? Yours. Yeah, mine definitely goes on, like, without the fight that yours does. like this chair? Oh, it feels weird. Pressure. Yeah, like, this, the suppleness that the tire had is gone. Right. I mean, that's quite hard anyway, though. But air doesn't even really come out of them that great. Fuck! <laughs> Maybe I should have used those valves. Like, the difference with these, I guess, is just all, that, suit. all that space just pushes it up. Well, wait. Make the little... And it's also got holes. <laughs> Cool. I guess that's why you read the instructions. When the time comes, I am gonna put these in. Definitely, definitely run the, the valves that come with it. <laughs> They're literally drilled with extra holes so that you can, so that you can actually get air in and out of your tire. It's definitely just because I have probably 40 PSI in both of mine. Or more. And no way of getting the air out. <laughs> Should have used their valves. Boop, boop. All right, Dan, scale of one to 10. How difficult was it? I think for you, the, it's probably like a two or a three. Three, I would say three, yeah. And for me, like an easy five or six. Yeah, not the hardest thing we've done. No. Also, let me know if you end up with an Instagram ad for rim pack like <laughs> things because I feel like you're going to. Yeah.